Hey, what is going on guys? Huawei here and today I'll be showing you how to remix slash customize your own texture pack. Because I am unable to redistribute or make my texture pack public because of copyright reasons that I will show you right now. As you can see, this is the Redcraft page and it says customize slash edit Redcraft in any way you like as long as you keep it privately. So um, in most texture packs such as Redcraft, Devscape, Sfax, DokuCraft, um, not Faithful, I'm not sure about Faithful, but most texture packs, if you remix them, you have to keep them private. You cannot make it public, you cannot send it to anyone else, or you will get in trouble for it. So if, to avoid future problems, I will not be redistributing or making public my texture pack but I will show you how to make it this is what this video is for and alright so I've made two texture packs the first one was a edited version of Deathscape 64x or 64 pixels x means pixels uh, and then there's a faithful 32x so uh, on, on my latest videos I well I've actually used I use them both it depends but uh, I like the Faithful more now because, you know, I like default textures, but uh, default textures are 16x, and that's a little bit too low res for me. So I Faithful is pretty much like default. So uh, yeah, Faithful is actually really good. So I remixed Faithful 32x to my own liking. So first... We're gonna download a whole bunch of texture packs and rename them. As you can see here, I got 1.6 A Bag of Shred, 1.6 Deathscape 32X, Faithful Venom, Shredders, Doku Clan, blah blah blah, Deathscape, Dragon Dance, and all of this gets texture packs. And where you wanna start? You wanna start with the texture pack where most of your blocks are going to come from. When I'm talking about blocks, I'm talking about like the grass blocks, the stone blocks, brick and uh, cobblestone like those are blocks and uh, let's let's make my texture pack here we're gonna start with faithful 32 right here copy right click and then paste it on your desktop to not waste too much time on this to save time you want to keep everything organized like I'm doing right now and uh, yes so we're gonna start with this right here I'm going to right click it, rename it as my customized texture pack. But this is going to be the base. So, you know what? Let's call it let's call it the base. <laughs> so, okay. So, what are you going to do? Open this. You're going to see a few files here. You're going to drag all of them out to your desktop. And uh these two are, I'm pretty I'm lagging right now that's so weird these two are actually the same thing uh, this is your texture pack these three files because if you if you want to change this back into a winrar file you drag this all three of them right click it go to send to and click compressed zip folder and what this does is it makes it into a compressed zip file folder and winrar is able to read that and you just I just changed this back into uh, the base so these two are actually the same but uh, we're gonna delete that right now but yes that is how you revert back your uh, folders and your to become a texture pack all right so assets wait no let's do let's do this first pack this is just a picture of how uh, your resource pack is gonna look when you go on Minecraft and then you click options and then you click resource pack and this will be the picture of your resource pack so this is a let's see 124 I think wait why did I let's just scroll over it yeah it's a 128 times 128 uh, picture size and yeah it could be anything uh you can make it like see i made it my own face here let's go pictures mc pics we got here this is 550 times 550 i just gotta scale it down to 120 times 128 i'm not sure if it actually works with 550 times 550 or anything higher than 128 times 128 
But uh, if it only accepts uh, 128 times 20, 128, then just scale it down, and yeah, that would be the your texture pack uh, icon. And then right here, pack.mc meta. What you're gonna do is right click it, open, select a program from a list of installed programs. Notepad. Uh, I'm not gonna always use the selected program. This is only gonna be temporary. And press OK. So as you can see here, I don't know what this means, but next to description right here between the quotation marks where it says vadix faithful 32 x 32 pack we're going to delete that and um we're going to write a description your own description of your own texture pack or your customized texture pack so this is going to be hua huawei's uh faithful 32x 64x because I'm going to be using 64x items because uh 32x items are very pixelated and I don't like that look so what we're going to do is file save and that'll be that'll show the description of your texture pack when you go on minecraft options resource packs and I'll show the description there and the picture so okay now let's start customizing our texture pack um well first I'm going to explain uh what each folder means so if we double click on assets here this is where all the textures are uh, Minecraft and uh, MC patcher if you have MC patcher these are the files for MC patcher like this is CTM connected textures and uh, I don't use connected textures so I delete that and then the font there's extended HD font but I don't think that actually works I tried it, but it, it looks the same. So for MC Patcher, I do not use the extended HD font feature because your texture pack already has its own font, and this is, I guess, this makes it more HD. But it it didn't work for me. But yeah, you, for M, the MC Patcher folder, this is um, you could put uh better skies there too. Like I'll show you right now. Uh, let's go to how. How can how I don't know how to say it? How Scion Halkion Days 32 Halkion. I think it's Halkion. Going to assets, same thing. Minecraft MC Patcher and a light map and sky. If you want my sky, this is the sky that I got uh, my sky from. <laughs> got it from Halkion Days 32x. And a light map is the lighting. When you have, when you go, when you go into a cave or a dark area, there's actually, it's actually nice. It's like a purple, pinkish lighting. Like if you play on Solar Frost, it looks amazing. Like I, I, I love it. So I, I put light map, and then sky. I'm gonna close this. So this is what we're editing right here. It's assets. Yeah, it might be a little bit confusing when you're messing around with all these folders. But MC Patcher inside MC Patcher. We're gonna have a light map and sky, but uh, right now you see Optifine is incompatible with MC Patcher, and I rather have a uh, Optifine. So whether you put this or not, it doesn't matter unless you use MC Patcher. So let's just leave it here. So it, it won't affect you. So let's go back to Minecraft. Now this is the textures folder. You double click textures. Now we have blocks, entity, environment, font. See the fonts right here. That's why I deleted the other one because I'm not going to be using it. Uh, MC Patcher. Uh, GUI, game user interface. That's what it means. Items, map, misc, models. Models is uh, your armor and yeah. And then there's a uh, painting, which is the paintings, portraits. And you go back, and this particles. This is where you know you want the star particles. This is it. Uh, you just gotta overwrite this one. And footprint is in particle too. All right, so let's start with blocks. So let's maximize this. As you can see, most of the blocks I love faithful. All of the blocks are awesome, but uh, there are some that I don't like. Well, I don't hate, but like it could be better. So. Let's see, we're gonna go back to my texture packs. Let's see, how I made my texture pack was I got something from 1.6 Faithful Venom. Um, Deathscape 32. See, I'm gonna be making a 32 pack. Uh, right here, Faithful Venom, there's actually a lily pad texture that I'm gonna scale down to 32x, and I'll show you guys how to do that. 
and then there's uh let's see default realism yes redcraft default realism 32. see it depends what pixel how many pixels your texture pack is going to be for the texture so i'm making a 32 pack right now and uh i'm gonna download all the 32 packs and drag them out here wait there's actually a faithful venom 32 oh wait no it's a little bit faithful venom 32 is a little bit different from faithful venom 64 and how can days i already got the sky from there so i don't need to do that but let's just drag it out just for the purpose of this video like if you want to add the uh better skies at the light map and then there's 1.7 smooth realism 32 i don't need this sword text no oh, i need facts and i need I actually need Deathscape 64 because I'm going to get the items and the GUI from there, the game user interface. I'll show you how that looks once I get into it. And uh, let's get Sfax 64x2. I remember there's some textures I took from there. And uh, this is about it. I think. Wait, no, a bag of shred. And uh, Shredder's Faithful. Okay. Okay, so whoa, we're right here. We got so many texture packs that we're kind of we're gonna get a few textures from. So we're gonna close this, and uh, let's close this again. Let's start all over. Okay, so this is the base. Um, actually, we can actually delete. Actually, oh, I say actually so much. We can actually we can delete this because we already have all those files out here. This is the base right here. So we're gonna leave this over here. Um. Let's start with blocks, okay? We gotta do it one folder at a time, guys. Blocks. What blocks do I not like? I do not like this brick here because I found better bricks on not default, but Redcraft. Let's uh Redcraft, oh, let's just move this. So let's put Redcraft together, Deathscape 32, and then there's Deathscape 64. We were not going to be using, and then Halkian Days. So we're going to put that all the way at the bottom. Okay, so Redcraft, Smooth Realism. If you want to see all of the textures, you're going to have to drag everything out from here, like the blocks. Just drag it out and put it right next to it so you don't get confused. Uh, because if you just open the blocks, you can, you can only open one file at a time from the WinWar file, and that's... I don't got time for that. So let's just drag the whole folder out. We're going to check it out here. Let's see. See, this is the brick block I use. It's from Redcraft 32x Smooth Realism. I'm going to move and replace it. Because this is the customized. The left here It's going to be my customized texture pack. And uh, let's refresh this. And bam. We're going to have that Redcraft brick. And uh, what else do we want from Redcraft? Let's check it out. This takes time, guys. This takes time. Oh, glass. Okay, let's do see glass. Glass is a lot of glass here. So what we're gonna do is on right here, search blocks. We're gonna type in glass and press. Okay, we don't have to press enter. And we're gonna do Control A, which is to select all, or you can just drag it all. But we're just gonna do select. I mean Control A selects all of this glass, and we're gonna drag it in here because uh, I don't like the glass from. Faithful 32 you see here like it's it's not transparent and uh, yeah I don't I don't like it like that so I like uh, I like Redcraft glass see this yeah it's transparent right there okay so we're gonna select all and drag all of it to our customized to our base we're gonna call it our base move and replace move and replace move and replace and we're just going to replace all of this here. Oh man, I need some water. I'm talking too much. I'm actually drinking iced tea, but whatever. Alright, so after you replace all of it, <laughs> just refresh it, you know get it all lined up and there you got all your glass your texture pack that you wanted and uh, let's see what else do we want from Redcraft uh, I actually like the grass blocks but you know what let's just stick with faithful 
Uh, what else do they have? I think that's about it. Tall grass, you see? Okay, let's go to Redcraft Default Realism. We're gonna go take out their blocks folder. See, this is default. Oh wait, you see? Oh, you do not want to merge it. So what we're gonna do is rename this blocks to blocks. Uh, red, red smooth. Let's just do red. That'll be Redcraft smooth. So we could drag this out to our desktop. And then we're gonna we have to rename this every time. It's gonna be blocks space. Uh, this is just for organization. Red. Uh, default. So yes, yeah, this is Redcraft default, Redcraft smooth. There's a difference between their tall grass, and I'm gonna show you. Um, okay, default realism is actually looks nicer, in my opinion. So we're gonna press T. Goes to tall grass. You see, every f every block, every item, they all have a certain name. So if you change this to TNT bottom one this texture won't work because you named it wrong every texture has a cert has a uh, precise name and you cannot change it for it to work it has to be that name so let's change it back to TNT bottom and uh okay so you see that tall grass yeah let's drag out the smooth realism tall grass uh, okay let's do tall grass one and this is gonna be tall grass two. So you see, this one's actually lighter than this one. This one's darker. So this is why I like the lighter version because it, it, it looks nicer. So uh, if you want the tall grass, it's from, excuse me, Redcraft Default Realism 32. So let's delete this. We don't like that tall grass and let's keep this one. Remember to rename it back, take away the one. That's just for uh, organization. And yeah, it's supposed to be called tall grass. And we're gonna drag it here and replace that ugly tall grass from faithful bam and then let's we'll refresh it all right so now we press t and bam tall grass looking good looking good all right so what other blocks do we want from redcraft um i think that's about it okay let's let's pick up the pace okay now let's go to devscape devscape Assets, Minecraft, Devscape. I want their items. No, 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 no. This is 32. 32. I actually want their blocks. Uh, we're gonna open this. Wait, we don't only want their blocks, actually. I say actually a lot. Uh, we want their color map is the shading. Color map is the shading between different biomes. So, we actually want. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I say actually too much. I don't know what is with me and actually. Actually, it sounds like Ashley. I don't know. Uh, color map. Yes, color map. We want this. So when you're looking at when you're playing TSG two, the tall grass will actually be brown, and the leaf blocks will be well. The leaf blocks actually won't change that much, I don't think. But this will fix the shading depending on the biome. So. We want the color map from uh, Redcraft Smooth Realism. I think it's the same as uh, Redcraft Default Realism, but let's play it safe. Let's do uh, Smooth Realism. Wait, we actually want more from this. Actually, actually, uh, we want the models. Some of the models. Want to take out the? Let's see. Let's just take out models. Oh, that moved down a little bit. Let's put it back. And uh, let's do Deathscape Thirty Two. We also want their models slash armor this is what uh, your armor is gonna look like when you're f5 or when someone's wearing armor uh, let's do this models uh, let's just okay let's rename it to models one and then we drag this out it's gonna be models two I want to mix it cuz uh, as you can see here Redcraft only has diamond, gold, and iron armor here. They didn't change their leather and their chain. So in models 2, which is from Deathscape, I'm gonna go to armor. I actually love their chain mail. Their chain mail is awesome. So we're just gonna we don't have to replace anything because there was no chain mail in the first place. 
And then there's leather. Leather has four layers, so uh, just be careful here. Or you can just type L here and just... Oh, uh, you know what? Leather. And yeah, there's four layers of leather, and we're going to drag it here. So now you have leather, chain from Devscape, and then iron, diamond, and gold is from Redcraft. And uh, yes, this is from the 32x versions. There's actually a difference in size and pixels in armor from uh, 64x and uh, 32x. So now that that's done, uh, which one did I put it in? See, it gets confusing a little bit. Okay, here's this is the models that I want models and what we're gonna do is close this go back to our base minecraft textures models i do not want the models from our base which is faithful and we want the models that we just customized we just yes here we go so we got the models done let's delete the models uh let's finish the blocks first i don't want to get to you know what color map See, Faithful doesn't even have a color map, so um, let's add a color map here. Color map actually goes here on uh, textures, and bam, color map. Uh, entity, we... Okay, let's do Entity. See, Entity I got from Deathscape 32. Because this is a 32 texture pack, we're going to keep it all 32. Textures, let's drag out the Entity. Let's not mix it up and put it next to Deathscape 32. Wait, that's 64. Oh, it's right here. Deathscape 32. Double click Entity. I I like their bolt. Here, let's make the icons a little bit bigger. Large icons. Okay. Their bolt is more clean. And see, this is kind of like wood. And I like that clean looking bolt. And, uh... I mean, this depends. I, this book actually... I mean, this bolt doesn't look that bad but okay let's just replace it we're gonna have a nice clean looking boat and the signs you see the sign this is like when yeah when you see a sign or when you're on a boat it's this is how it's gonna look and you do not like this I, don't, I do not like that sign texture we want it clear so we can actually read what's on the sign and that is why I like deathscape Bam, move and replace. So we just replace the bolt, the sign. You can also change experience orbs. Yes, this the experience orbs kind of hard to tell, but this is kind of pixelated here, and this is more smooth and nicely shaded. So we're gonna get the uh, the, 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 the the experience orbs from Deathscape. And there's also like how the witch looks like. This entity is uh the animals, the mobs. Um, enchanting table, uh, they got the arrows, this is how it's gonna look on the floor, not when you're holding it, this is, like, external. So, the bat, blaze, these are all external stuff, and, yeah, that's about it, that all I wanted was a boat and a sign and the orb, experience orbs, that was my texture pack, I remember. So, we're done with entity there, okay? So let's start over again. What do we got next? We finished. We didn't finish the blocks yet, but we're gonna. Okay, let's finish the blocks first because. Okay, cake. I remember cake. I like from Sfax32. Assets, Minecraft. Textures. Blocks. You know what? Let's just drag out the whole. F nope. We gotta rename this to blocks. Deathscape, and so then we can actually drag this out without, without being asked to replace the other blocks folder because you cannot have two of the same folder blocks specs. It's gonna be 32 here. Just double check if it's 32. Yes, it is 32 pixels. And uh, what block did I want? I wanted their sponge. See, it looks like cheese. And you see the sponge from here, it looks like crap. Put it in, move and replace. And there's also another texture I want to read, cake. We're going to type it in from the top here, cake. And there's cake inner, top, bottom, side. And then we got cake here, you see. I mean, this cake doesn't look bad, but it's just that Sfax looks better for me, in my opinion. So we're going to do this. 
drag that there, move and replace, move and replace, move and replace. And we just got some brand new looking cake here. Uh, what other blocks do we want from Sfax? I mean, you can pick any block you want. Like, if you like the ores, you can get the ores from Sfax. But you see, I'm trying to make my texture pack not too much different from, like, it's uh, faithful blocks because this is faithful based and it I want them all to kind of connect you know I don't want them to look too different from each other and I think that's all I got from Sfax um, yep. sponge uh, see this is nice looking water but I don't like the water flow it's too much water flow there and that's about it okay so Sfax we're finished with you what other blocks do you want? I'm gonna leave the cactus. Uh, <clears throat> we already got the glass, grass, dirt, iron bars. Iron bars is from Deathscape 32. I remember this. Iron bars. You see this? This is like when you get in a game, this is really dirty looking. So I like it clean. Deathscape is a smooth texture pack, and I like these iron bars more. I'm gonna replace that. And, um, uh, see how these all these uh textures are 32 they're all the same size yeah because that's that is how i like it everything to be the same size and the pumpkins oh i remember i replaced the pumpkin pumpkin you see it's pretty ugly here on faithful it's like eh so what we're gonna do is and the stems too so um because the stems it, there is a little difference if you scroll into it when open both of the files and zoom in See, this is more smoother here on Deathscape than compared to uh, Faithful. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just pumpkin stem, pumpkin, pumpkin. It all starts with the P. What we're going to do is do pumpkins. And then we're going to drag all of this. These are all the pumpkin textures. Move and replace, move and replace. And then let's refresh this. And let's go back down to pumpkin. Wait, there's actually fire. See, fire consists of fire layer 0, fire layer 0, PNG MC meta, fire layer 1, fire layer 1 MC meta. What we're going to do is delete this. Because some fire layers, I don't, they have more than 4 files. But here, we're, we're just going to play it safe here and uh, delete the fire layers. But in this case, you know what, let's be more safe and just type fire and delete all the fire layers. This is uh, your flint and steel. When you light something on fire, like, and when you're on fire, how low it's going to be. So this, if you want low fire, you get a low fire texture from, what is it, Shredders, I think, or some PvP pack. It's pretty easy to find, and this you replace it on the blocks folder. But I, I don't like low fire, to be honest. I like medium fire, or which is uh, Deathscape, because uh, Faithful... Fire is, it gets all over your face. It's like full screen fire, which is terrible. So this is Deathscape Fire. Let's make sure, that, is this the 32 one? Yeah, this is the 32 one. I did not drag out the 64 one. See, it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. You don't know what you, oh, we got, here we gotta close this. Just press X, go back to the folder, fire layer. Just drag it in there, refresh, and there you go. There's your fire layer, Just press X here, and now, it won't search for whatever you type there. And um, what else we got? Oh, we, I actually replaced the daylight detectors, even though I've never made one before. I've never seen a daylight detector block when I'm playing MCSG or even survival. Uh, when I move and replace this, move and replace this. Okay. Then we'll go back to Deathscape here, press X. But uh, this is taking quite a long time. How long have I been recording for? 30 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, so you guys get the point. Holy. Uh, glowstone. I want that glowstone. Redstone lamp. Let's speed it up. We're going to do fast forward. Redstone lamp. Move and replace. Redstone lamp off. Move and replace. Mushrooms. I remember the mushroom blocks from uh, Redcraft Smooth. Mushrooms, they do not have mushrooms here. It's from Redcraft default. Mushrooms, mushroom, mushroom red, replace. Mushroom brown, replace. Because they they look smoother. Um, uh, what else we got? 
like scaling down, I'm not gonna show you guys because like this is what I did. If you guys want my swords, I'm not gonna make it public, but I actually made it myself. I can make it public, but uh, we'll see on the f in the future. See, cut off swords. My friend sent me these cut off swords 128 times 128. What I did was added with gimp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna take a while. I need more water. I cannot talk this long. My throat gets like really weird and dry when I talk for long periods of time. Alright, so you guys have to learn how to use Gim Z is to zoom in, then you click, 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 zoom in. You see how this is 128. What I do is select all, control A. Uh, I'm gonna scale it down. This is the scale to do that. Lock the pixel so it becomes squared, you know, and then you're gonna type 64x, 64, scale, control C, copy, new. It's gonna be a 64 texture, advanced options, background, it's gonna be transparent, okay. This is a new file, this is your 64, paste it here, zoom in here. I'm gonna close this because this is the file we're editing, it is now 64. Right click the layer to a new layer, so now it's actually there, it's not just a pasted layer and you could just merge it down with the trans, you know what, we're gonna have to move this down because of uh, I think it's supposed to be like this. I'm not sure, I forgot how it was, but yeah, this is how I made it. See how blurry it is right now? So I made it from this blurry, because when you scale down something, it takes away the quality and I had to add sharpness, I reshaded it and I made it look nice. And then it became this right here, bam. Wait, no, this isn't it. This is it. I actually think it looks better than the 128. And the gold sword. This took quite the time for me to make. Uh, actually, see, this one is more yellow than this one, so I I made it darker. So I used the darker wooden sword. So wood sword OG was like the original one, and then I made a wood sword darker version. The darker one actually looks better. So yes, these are the swords I use. Uh, yeah, someone sent it to me. Um, let's see here, texture packs, one twenty eight. Yeah, they were. This was actually a sword. I think it was from uh, Shredders, and then like my friend, he cut it off. I didn't cut it off, but uh, I made it to 64 and I reshaded it. So uh, it looks good. I love these swords. Uh, I I I love it. And then you know, fishing rod. Uh, let's do this quick. If you guys see my fishing rod, I don't remember what it was from here. Let's go to my PVP pack here. It's not really a PVP pack. I use this for everything because it. It, every, it looks nice on everything. Uh, items. Items, okay, let me explain items. Okay, now I'm going all over the place. This is how your items will look when you're holding it and when it's in your inventory. So items, yes. See, this I had to go on GIMP, shade it, and I made this green here. Pulling 0, 1, 2, and both stand by. This is from Redcraft, so I do not own this texture. The sword is there. Uh, most of this is Deathscape. See, these are 64 pixel items, and they're better than 32, in my opinion. And the arrows from uh, Redcraft. Uh, see, cake? There's actually a cake when you hold it out, what it looks like. And you need the cake texture here. It's from Sfax. Gotta be the same. Fishing rod. This is from uh, Shredders, and what I did was here. Let's go to Shredder 64x. I'm gonna do this real quick. Textures, items, fishing uh, rod. Cast and uncast. I'm gonna drag it here. You see how it's brown? All I did was, you know, use the bucket tool and change the colors of uh, the top right here. And uh, yeah, I like the black fishing rod. It looks awesome for me. And yes, and you guys want to know where the particles is from? Okay, let's go to particles. Forget about items. We're done with items. You guys have to mix it yourself. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. It's uh, from a bag of shred mix. I actually, got this from Crazy Cappy. He showed me this. 
I so it's not this isn't even my texture none of these textures are mine except for I guess uh, the was it the swords maybe I don't know I, I thought I did really good on these swords come on man they look beast Just look at look at that shading like hmm Okay, I'm being weird. So let's do textures. This is a bag of shred. This is where I get the spar star particles. Spar particles. What am I saying? You see, zoom in here. This is the fishing right. See, the particles is not just the the freaking stars. Why am I why am I getting angry? <laughs> uh, this is the fire when you light torches up. The jukebox music thing. The heart, I don't know. When you're in water, there's that little trippy thing. Uh, I don't know what that is. And uh, this is from enchanting or like some ender portal thingy. I don't play survival. I don't, I'm, I'm starting. To, I'm actually starting to play survival right now. I haven't been playing MCSG that much now because I used to play a lot of MCSG, and now I'm slowing down on it because after 2,600 wins, I gotta slow down. Man, it gets boring a little bit, but that's okay. That is okay, I will still be playing and uh, I, I still love MCSG, but I gotta slow it down a bit. Um, but yeah, Smoke Particles is, uh, I think it's from Killing Mobs, yes, this is from Killing Mobs. And uh, yeah, this is the Particles, this is where you get the stars from. You can edit it, this, you can edit this in any way you like, you know, but you know, make sure you give credit. This is from a bag of shred. Uh, let's see, Sfax, Sfax, I got the sword, stone sword from Sfax, you gotta love it, this is a 64 version, uh, my texture packs never go over 128, and then there's that epic sun, I don't know where it's from, but I, I just googled it and I found it, uh, this one's actually a big file, like, a normal sun texture was actually 128, or, uh, 64x64, 64. but, uh, this, yeah, I, this 340, and it's, it's fine, I don't lag with it, so yeah, that's the epic sun. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about environment real quick here. Let's go back to assets, Minecraft, textures, font, just stick with uh you can change the font, but I, I like the Faithful 32 font, it's beautiful. GUI is uh see widgets here. This is where when you scroll over your hot bars, how gonna look like you can get it from you get mine from uh what is it? Uh Faithful, Faithful Venom, Faithful Venom sixty four. 32 let's do 32 faithful venom 32 no that's not faithful venom uh where's faithful venom 32 see it gets a bit confusing let's i think it's probably in here faithful venom 32 okay let's just leave it there open this do that textures uh gui uh it's gonna be called widgets widgets drag it out here see this is the widgets from faithful and this is the widgets from Okay, it's a lie. This from freaking <laughs> 64x. So let's do this. GUI widgets, and there we go. See, when you scroll over the hot bar, it's gonna look like this. I actually recolored this to like a really dark blue, and I see that pixel there on the four corners. I erased that because I don't know why that's there. It looks kind of funny. And uh, the hot, I just the hot, uh, the rest of it except for this crosshair thing. It's from Devscape on mine. So what you're gonna do is cut this little crosshair thing out and paste it on the Devscape one and delete Devscape's one here and yeah, because here I'll show you. Devscape assets Minecraft textures GUI uh widgets. Here let's just have their whole GUI folder out. This is Devscape GUI folder. See, I like it like black because, uh, and then I erase this and add that little cross in there. So when I scroll the items, it'll look more better. Um, what else we got? Uh, this is the backgrounds option. This is the wallpaper when you open your Minecraft. So it could be a dirt block. It could be any block as long as it's 64x times 64x. Icons is from, uh, my icons, it's from based off of Redcraft. I added the, I made the hearts for the golden apples to yellow because they didn't have that. And I changed the crosshair a little bit, but it's, my icons are from Redcraft. Uh, this is the book. You really don't need that. This is, uh, yeah. So what's gonna say when you open Minecraft? The background, the panoramas. You can change that if you want, but whatever. This is only when you open Minecraft. You see, container. Okay, now this is all the 
uh, I don't know how I say this. Like when you open your inventory or blacksmith, all that s stuff. I I leave it the same. It's all gonna be deathscape because I like it all black. And uh, yes, it matches with the widgets to the widgets from deathscape. But I just like I said, took out this little cross here from uh, what was it? Uh, Faithful Venom, which is this. Yeah, see that? It's from that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it i think let's go back textures items we already discussed that map this is just like when you open when you have a map it's just the icons for uh you don't really need to change that misc underwater okay when you go in water um you, sometimes it might be blurry and you see these pixels here yeah you don't want this so this mist folder delete underwater uh how, how big is this 32x 32x okay so what we're gonna do is Open GIMP. You guys have to get GIMP or Photoshop and uh, learn how to, you know, do some basic um, editing on photos. So what we're gonna do is a new file. It's gonna be 32. We're gonna make that underwater file, but this is gonna be it's it's easy. Instead of fill, it's gonna be transparency and uh, let's what let's delete this. It doesn't matter. So this is the file. This is transparent. This is transparent. So see through right now. So what we're gonna do is save this file. Export is to save it, and it's gonna be called underwater.png. And we're gonna do it uh, desktop. Export, then just export it. Then we're gonna close this. Close this. And as you see on the desktop, it, it's it's all black, but it's not black. It's actually transparent. You see. And we're gonna put this here. So when you go underwater, everything is clear. You do not see any pixelation or anything. Because once you jump in water, like you see all these pixels, and that's because of this misc. Misc underwater. And if you have a transparent uh transparent picture here, uh transparent texture, it's everything will be transparent and everything will be like clear. All you see is the water. The water is blue and there's no like weird pixels on it and yeah it's gonna look nice so yes definitely do that misc underwater texture you gotta have that uh, models we already did it's the armor how you look like painting particles and yeah this is your texture pack um so after you're done with it what we're gonna do is refresh here this was all here this these three right click it send to compress zip file it's gonna make it into a zip file and then we're gonna rename it to let's see 1.7 let's put an underscore because that's how I do it Huawei edited faithful let's do 32x blocks and everything else and then there's actually 64x items if you want to be specific but no oh, space enter and uh, yeah that is pretty much it. Let's see how big this file is. It's uh, 10 MB. This is your resource pack. You just made your, you just customized your resource pack. So, you know, go percent update a percent, put in your resource packs folder and it will work. And that is how you remix or customize a texture pack. Man, this video is really long, but you know, I think I got a lot of information out there for you guys to know and to learn how to make a texture pack it's pretty simple every item has its own name i'm just gonna summarize it every item has their own name uh just make sure it's in the right folder like there's blocks items how they look and how they appear when you're holding it and in your inventory see i forgot to change the bows to redcraft but uh oh actually the, you know what we, we i already made it so yeah, you can change the items, change the bows, and uh, GUI, icons, see the hearts, golden hearts. So your crosshairs right here, if you can see that, that's your crosshair. You can edit it to your liking, uh, and all this stuff, and uh, widgets, widgets, hotbar. You see this is your hotbar right here, your little scroll over mouse wheel crosshair thing to what you're uh, holding out. And, yes models okay that's pretty much it yes every file has its own name you just move it drag it around mix it up and you know 
check it out on Minecraft after you made it. If there's something you don't like, you can just exit out of Minecraft and find a better texture or switch back to your, your old texture that you like. And you know, until you find the perfect textures of your choice. And that is how I made my texture pack. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. This is, gonna, this is a long video, I know, but this is how you're going to get my texture pack. Um, I guess I'll put these swords on here. I'll, I'll put the 128 swords because the 64x swords, these are mine. <laughs> I made this, so I'm kind of proud of making them too. But I will send you guys these. Well, actually, I have to ask my friend first because I don't think my fr my friend gave me the 128 swords, and I'm not sure if he wants me to send it to everyone or make it public. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps, and I will see you all next time. Peace.